welcome back to Expert Talks. I'm Agathe Ducar. Today we're joined by Jean Grégoire Manoukin, also known as JG, who will share with us a free example of 360 degree risk management. JG, thank you for being here. Happy to be here. Great. So, JG, can you start by explaining what is 360 degree risk management? Sure. Uh, 360 degree risk management is a framework that integrates risk information across the enterprise. Uh, it's used for three main things. Uh, one, data on risks and controls is managed on a single platform, not on multiple systems and separate data silos. Two, the status of risks and controls is tracked dynamically. Uh, so you are warned if some risks are increasing or if some controls are weakening. And three, risk information is presented in the relevant context, which helps to foster a risk mindset. Uh, this is important because an executive and a frontline worker will need information on risks in completely different ways. I see. So maybe we can show how 360 degree risk management works by using examples. Should we do that? Sure, let's do that. So our first example is with uh, frontline workers and it's about integrating lessons from incident investigations in work permits. Uh, in this example, uh, someone will perform repairs on a piece of equipment. Uh, they have an electronic permit that authorizes them to perform the repairs. Right before they start uh, the work, they go in the permit and see important instructions to make sure that they work safely. So key information is dynamically uh, provided at the most critical moment, right before they start work, not in some training session months ago. Okay, and, and where are those lessons or instruction coming from? So uh, let's suppose there were incidents and incidents investigations uh, associated with that particular repair work. As a result of these uh, investigations, uh, new barriers or controls are implemented, but an investigation may also recommend that specific work instructions be communicated to workers. And with an ABLON, the work permit connects to the incident investigations database and pulls the relevant information on risks and controls related to that particular task right before the work starts. Great. Well, Gigi, what is the second example then of a 360 degree risk management that you want to share? Well, the first example was about uh, frontline workers. For the next example, we will cover middle management. So EHS managers, uh, operations managers, uh, safety managers, plant managers. And this example is about visualizing the Swiss cheese model with barrier management and bow ties. Okay, so should we remind our viewer, what is the Swiss cheese model? Uh, yeah, yes, let's do that. The, uh, the uh, Swiss cheese model is uh, used in uh, risk analysis. Uh, it compares controls to slices of Swiss cheese stacked side by side. In the model, the risk of an accident is mitigated by the different layers of controls or barriers. But even though there are many layers between hazards and accidents, each layer is not perfect. And if the limitations or flaws in each layer are aligned, then an accident can happen. That's interesting. And how is the visualization done with a software like Enablon and 360 degree risk management? So with 360 degree uh, risk management, you can see real time barrier status with data pulled from multiple sources like plant systems, uh, equipment systems, safety systems. You gain a single consolidated view of risk for operations and a clear overview of the cumulative risk of each plant. And a user can drill down to see which specific barriers are failing and why. So you can identify the weakest link in your chain 
and launch action plans to restore the integrity of a barrier. Great. So, Gigi, should we conclude with the last example? Yes. Uh, the first example was with frontline workers. The second covered mid-management. For the third example, we'll talk about C-level executives. And uh, executives are mainly interested in a high-level view of critical risks and controls, their status. What are the big problems? Uh, what's being done about them? That's it. They are not interested. They're less interested in granular details. Okay, but are you not basically describing a risk register or dashboard where the status of the main risk and control is shown? Yeah, th that's an excellent observation and it leads us to an important uh, issue. If risk data is scattered in multiple systems, then executives may only see certain types of risks like legal, financial, and strategic risks, but they may not have visibility over operational risks that the front line faces. And with 360 degree risk management, you can bridge the gap between enterprise risk management and operational risk management so that executives are also aware of critical risks affecting the front line. I see. But why would the C-suite care about the front line operational risks? How does it impact them? Well, frontline operational risks can create a domino effect. Uh, imagine that an equipment is always breaking down and slowing production. You need to replace it, but there's a four month delay to get the new equipment. So production may be interrupted or even stopped. That may jeopardize the fulfillment of a major contract, which means that anticipated revenues may not be recognized in the current fiscal year. So financial objectives are missed and the board of directors is really not happy. We see how a problem with an equipment at the front line can start a chain of events impacting management and the board. Well, that made sense. Well, thank you for giving us example of 360 degree risk management. And thank you all for watching Expert Talks. Stay tuned for more insight on industry topics.